Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to let you know what's going on in the Canary channel with the latest Insider Preview Build 25941 that rolled out late last week. Now, just a quick look at what is hot off the presses and what's new in Build 25941. Well, the first is that Microsoft has improved the Advanced Display Settings page with a new toggle for Dynamic Refresh Rate, also known as DRR. And in case uh, you were unaware, DRR allows the operating system to dynamically adjust the refresh rate of your display up to the selected rate to help save power, as we can see in the screenshot provided. Now, something else just to take note of uh, regarding um, the dynamic refresh rate uh, in the Canary channel for this week, uh, Microsoft says to bring awareness to limitations, which are both related to the display or the cable being used, when selecting a refresh rate, you may notice some refresh rates will show an asterisk. That means that in order to select the specific refresh rate, the display resolution will need to be changed to one that supports the selected refresh rate. And they mention that this behavior happens when there are limitations due, as mentioned, to the cable or the display's capabilities. So just take note of that if you are in the Canary channel. Now moving on to an update to the cast flyout once again. And this is doing its rounds. Uh, these updates are doing the rounds uh, in the Canary channel and the dev channel and so on. Where the update to the cars fly out in quick settings now has additional support um, in case you face any trouble uh, discovering nearby displays, fixing connections and more. And I have posted on this in previous videos, but now this has been improved now in the Canary channel. So if you can't find a device, you click on that link and you can help uh, troubleshooting and discovering nearby displays. Now, something else uh, just to take note of um, in the Canary channel for this week is that the uh, battery and power uh, page has received a couple of um, changes where if we just head over to the, uh, the power page and the battery page in the stable version of Windows 11 and we head to power and battery, and Microsoft says now that the graph at the top of the power and battery page, as you can see in the stable version, uh, has been removed. So in the Canary channel now, this graph has been removed. And if you're on Insider in the Canary channel, you can continue to see a graph of battery usage in the battery usage section further down the page. So if we scroll down to the battery usage, um, as you see in the stable version, you will see uh, a graph of the battery usage in the battery usage section. So basically, in a nutshell, this um, uh, this uh, graph at the top of the power and battery page has been removed and you'll only see it now in battery usage if you are in the Canary channel. And that's more or less the improvements that have rolled out. And over and above that, uh, we have five fixes for known issues because it is still early days in the uh, Canary channel. And that's just a brief overview as mentioned. And um, if you are following new features that could possibly roll out to up and coming stable versions, which um, are now featured in the latest Canary Channel build 25941. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.